part. So this is what F is used. So this subduction zone will be you know, this is Tibbat Island. Tibbat Island will not collide with this. So this will be a single continent. So after Tibbat accretes with this main land, you know, that subduction zone will be here, created. So just see this part. Now Tibbat will be joining with this. So now you remember from here your tethy starts, from here tethy extends from here to here. This is the tethy source. So now these are the sedimentary cover. And this is the continent part. So this continent will go and collide with this. You see which are the portions that is colliding. So the rocks which are present here, you know, they will collide. Huh? The sediments will be pressed. The sediments which are existing here they will press to form this small mountain bed. That is why this is a compressional orogenic bed. This is a compressional orogenic bed. Whereas these parts, these are extensional. These are extensional beds. So, so then I told you what are the rocks present here. These are what are the rocks? So here it will be your vineyards. So these are Vindhyams. So then the Chhotnapur part will be here. The Aravalis will be here. The Delhi is somewhere here, you know. Somewhere here is Delhi. So this part will be Aravali. So Aravalis, Vindhyams, then the Chhotnapur part. So these are the rocks, you know, which will be colliding with this Chinese part. So here is the subduction zone. Here is the subduction zone. So, I, uh, that day I draw a figure or something like this. I'll close it, yeah? That's where it comes, I'll show you. Like this. This is the situation before the 
subtraction starts. So the major part of the ocean is this side. Major part this side. So this side is China continent, this side is Indian continent. This is the situation before the subtraction starts. Now, as I told you, you know, remove this lower part. So here you have the oceanic flow. The, the, the oceanic flow. This is the oceanic flow followed by the sediments. The sediments will be so these are the sediments. Tethi sediments. Flow in oceanic flow. And here, it is the continental flow. Because the ocean does not start you know, here or here. So there will be some, to some extent, the ocean will be extending, you know, here sediments will be deposited. This area also sediments will be deposited. You know. Just like Bay of Bengal now. The Bay of Bengal, the continental crust is extending to certain extent in Bay of Bengal. So the whatever marine sediments are being deposited there on the continental crust. But as you go down, deeper, after the self, Deep slope will come, so there the oceanic crust. Same thing also uh, had happened in case of it. So now this part is the oceanic, and this is the sediment. So this was the situation. Now the subduction happened. So this plate was you can consider this was stable, and this was moving towards north. That is what you saw. So the the fast thrusting will happen here. The subduction zone will start from here. From this end, the thrusting will start. How thrusting will happen, you know? Now you see, this part will go down, related to this part. Because this is the major part is the oceanic part. This plate is in a large plate is oceanic. So this will go down. So when this goes down, so these sediments which are being deposited here, you know, they will pull to certain extent because they are lighter sediments. The specific gravity is now 2.3 or even less 2.1. I have told you that the fresh deposited sediments are very light. Even if they are diagenetically concentrated, you know, it is not very heavy like the oceanic crust. So this oceanic crust part will go down, but this will be all scrapped off. The maximum distance it can travel, you know, this 20 kilometer. Maximum distance it can be traveled by drag. So this part is going down, it can drag certain amount of sediments you know, downward. If beyond that it cannot go. Whereas this ocean or this part can go up to 670 km. 670 km. But this cannot go. This can go a maximum of 20, 30 km, you know. So these sediments will be metamorphosed, you know, to Maximum what grade? The granular grade. They will be melted and goes out. Because beyond this they cannot go. So they will be again abducted. They will be thrown out. Abducted. Understood that? So they will be abducted to the again ocean floor from this island are to be formed here. So all these sediments will be pressed now into which these granulites will go as they are All right, the granite melting will take place, the melt will intrude into it. So that is the threat of the sediments. Whereas this will go down. So this will be metamorphosed to eclovites. It can go, but the sediments cannot become eclovite, you know. Basic rock, see this, this rock is the volcanic, is the basic rock? Basic rock. So basic rock then become basic granulite. Then basic granulite will be converted to a eclogite. Eclogite is what composition? What is the composition of eclogite? Composite. Composite. Plus? Simply exit, it's not And basic granulite mein? Basic granulite or eclogite is what Basic granulite will contain what? Garnet plus 
OPX plus OPX. Lanjut dia. This is the difference. OPX is not. OPX tu usah pahala nikal gaya awak. Lower ground light capacity mana mana pun mana. The appearance of OPX is this high of ground light capacity. Appearance of OPX. But OPX does not continue for higher grade ground light capacity. It is abolished. तो OPX से कन्वर्ट तो ग्राम गाने तो OPX से यार रहेगा नहीं ये जो गो डाउन ना इमिशन इमिशन इधर भी गाने CPX plus plus OPX ये भी साइन ऑफ डाउनलाइट बिजली में डालते हैं पर ये तो गो ही है लेकिन डाउन है ना तो दिस विल बी 30 to 40 किलोमीटर है ना 50 किलोमीटर दिस विल कम वेर ऑल OPX विल गो आउट देन Plasma will be go out for the fluid. So this can survive, you know, this can survive. Then the fluid hook and the road which hook and the road can go up to 670 km and melt cell. But the sediments will not go, sediments will be thrown out. Understood, na? So now, so you have a very high grade metamorphic fluid rocks here. Understood, na? But as you come to the surface, you know, as you come to the surface here, this place, this is called a suture or insubric line. Insubric line. Where the two plates, the suture, you know, they come together. So along this place, you know, you will get blue cyst metamorphic. Blue cyst metamorphic means high pressure, low temperature. You can tell me why it happens. High pressure, low temperature, but I want to give you a bit. Either you have high pressure, but then why high pressure comes here? Huh? Why high pressure, but I want to give you the experience along these trends or along these features? Sir, this may not be a temperature problem. Huh? Compressor, what is it? What is it? They will compress you like this, so high pressure. वही तो बताओ, वो इसलिए high pressure होता है। तो ये तो सिवालिक्स में भी compression होता है। सिवालिक्स जो है ना, Portland में जो बनेगा सिवालिक्स, वहाँ तो compression होते first belt बन। तो वहाँ तो high pressure नहीं बनता। भाई high pressure मतलब आप भी जो text में चल रहा है कि train तो use भी किया है। It is not because of compression, remember? It is not because of compression. It is I want to say, the high pressure metamorphism is not because of compression. Suppose I ask you, I'm going to remember, I don't have any answer because they are compressing so high pressure metamorphism. This pressure term, you know, the pressure term is not because of this compression. आप जो प्रेस करते हैं ना, it is does not provide pressure for metamorphic. Suppose आपका if you have a stack of rocks, you are pressing it, you are pressing it. So here pressure will be same as pressure here, pressure here, pressure here. Because two plates are colliding, ना? Pressure is same everywhere. But the minerals, you know, which will develop here, which will develop here, which will develop here, which will develop here. They will be different. Why? The pressure is different. Which pressure there? Ah, it's not pore pressure. It is the over bottom. But depth, depth के लिए follow this point ना? Because of depth, not because of this. This gives us a stress difference. Stress, you know, the compression is a stress. It will produce force, it will produce thrust, it will produce pseudotaglates, structural things, but not the metamorphic things. Metamorphic things are purely because of this over bottom. The point is, if you see this place, you know, if you see this place, now they have, suppose here is the insubric line, you know, insubric line. You see, how the temperature pressure goes down? Every one kilometer, 
the temperature goes by 30 degree centigrade pressure goes by 26 mp ei hai na gradient hai this is what so if you go by 1 km 30 degree 26 like this we can multiply this is the common geothermal or geobaric gradient everywhere it is present but in case of insubric line insubric line mein kya hota hai you are forcing a this is very cold cold slab cold slab you are forcing down the cold slab you are forcing down that means this part you are forcing a cold slab downward you know like this so if you go by 1 km Pressure increases by 26 MPa because of the depth, but temperature does not increase by 30 degree centigrade. It may remain in zero degree, but the temperature was there at the surface. It will remain there. Pressure may increase. Pressure is because of the height. Rho g h. उसमें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा, but temperature will be much less, you know, compared to this gradient. This part you remember because the cold slab is going down. So this is a typical zone where the temperature gradient is much less, much less. You must have seen, you know, you must have to put the ice cube, you know, ice very big ice cube, hot water. What will happen there? Or sometimes this cold ice will float over the hot water. Hot water may be 100 degrees centigrade. But still, then a ice cube will float over it. The ice cube, what will happen? Part of it will go down. Na? Part of it will go down. So ice cube is about zero degree centigrade. So zero degree centigrade isotherm is going like this, you know. Is it like this? Do you believe in it, sir? Because ice cube is lying lying there. Ice cube will not happen. Surface may hundred degree centigrade happen. Hundred like this, you know. But since the ice cube is there, the temperature gradient becomes less. So zero degree temperature will not much below that because ice cube is floating over it. Because this cold slab is going down, you know, so that 30 degree centigrade isotherm, you know, does not maintain. So 30 degree मिलने के लिए आपको सात पांच छह किलोमीटर जाना पड़ेगा नीचे. But pressure remains same. Pressure तो रोज ही है. As the water, as the water flow, but pressure and temperature, you know, they are not compatible now. in this zone. In this zone, pressure is relatively high and temperature is relatively low, you know, compared to the normal normal geothermal gradient or geothermal gradient. This will be metamorphic. It will be indicated. It will indicate a very low temperature, but pressure is should be high. You see? नॉर्मल होता तो इफ नॉर्मल जो थर्मिक और जो बारी ग्रेडिएंट उधर मेंटेन यहाँ सब इधर व्हाटेवर टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर एक्जिस्ट ही आर द मिनरल वर्ल्ड डिवेलप व्हाटेवर टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर विल बी ही आर द मिनरल वर्ल्ड डिवेलप बट सपोज ही आर द प्रेशर इज व्हाटेवर इफ प्रेशर यू आर गेटिंग बट That is why that metamorphism is called high pressure metamorphism. High pressure metamorphism means what? Pressure is high, but temperature is no no temperature. Because the geothermal gradient, you know, in insubric line, it goes if it is zero degree centigrade here, it goes down like this, you know. So in this zone, me, the rocks will be under the effect of zero temperature, but pressure, high pressure. High pressure never found to be good. It's not like that. Compared to temperature, what is the pressure? Is it as per the geothermic or geobaric gradient? No. That is why you get minerals, you know, corresponding to very low temperature and high pressure. That is the reason. Note this point, na. That is why you get a blue cyst metamorphism in this area. Hello, na. See, it cannot be a hole, right? 
Biar bisa menerus, nah. 